Hi everybody, it's Christopher Naiman. Well, I am doing a thread test here, and I want you to look at the stitching on this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm going to show you the back of it. What do you think? Is that beautiful? Alright, now I'm going to sew one for you, just so you can see. Okay? Here we go. Okay, let's look at that one. So beautiful, isn't it? Look, at, and I've had no problem stitching that, right? Now let's look at the other side. My gosh, beautiful. Okay, so now let's, let's, now how many layers of fabric is this? It's about oh, one, two, three, four layers. So let's double that to eight layers. Let's double it to eight layers and see how this thread responds. You ready? This is shirting material. Of course, you know, I'm probably sewing crooked because I got the camera in my hand. Okay, so it was this stitch right here. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's look at the other side. There it is. Absolutely beautiful. Right? So, can you guess what thread I'm sewing with? Can anybody guess? Okay, say it to yourself what you think this thread is. Okay? Because you know, if you look at my wall, I've got all kinds of thread up here. It's all my sewing thread. And people ask me, why do you have so much thread? Well, you know what? I teach sewing. I write books. I have students that come in. If a student needs a spool of thread, I sell them a spool of thread if they forget their own. And I'm always testing and sampling and making videos. So, and I have a variety of all different threads, right? Okay, now wait. Are you ready? This is, okay, so I've been sewing this on my baby lock. All right, let's see what thread I've been sewing on. Okay, can you see that thread? I know some of you are thinking it's Coates and Clark, right? Right? That's probably what you're thinking, right? Okay, so let's take the spool cap off. And look, let's see what it is. <gasps> Walmart! Two for a dollar! Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Wow! Wow! Flawless sewing! I think that's enough said. So listen to me. If you keep maintenance on your machine, because you're going to get lint from the material, you're going to get lint not only from any spool of thread of any brand, but from your material. Because when that, when that needle penetrates that fabric, it's pushing that fibers down inside your bobbin area. So just be sure you keep everything clean, okay? Yeah. Well, that was a surprise too, wasn't it? That just proves that, you know, you use the right needle, the right setup. You know, you can sew anything. Now, what happens if I didn't have that spool cap on? Because this is one of those spools that got one of those groove slits in there. It would have pulled that out, just like I showed you. Oh, here. Might as well take that off. There it is, just to show you. Walmart. Walmart. And you know how old that thread is? And look how good it sews. Hasn't lost its stretch or nothing, like some people say it does. Some lady said to me, after four years, your thread loses its stretch. I don't know. I've got some good. And this was cheap. Two, four dollar thread. And I'm getting a beautiful seam on that. And I've been making my shirts on with this and coats thread. So there you go, everybody. Okay. People are going to say crap about everything. The results will show. And here are my results. Okay. And this is on my Mega Buck sewing machine. Now, people will tell you, oh, you can't use certain threads on your sewing machine. You can't use certain threads. Well, I'll tell you what. If you're going to spend this much money on a sewing machine like this, it better be able to use different brand threads. And it does. Mine does. 
just got to use the right needle and know what the right needle, right size needle for the right fabric you're using and you're going to have results. And like any, like any machine, just keep your machine clean everybody. It doesn't matter what brand you use. Keep your machine clean. All right, all right. Take care, everybody. I hope this. I hope this uh, proves to some people out there. You know, what's that old saying? Put your money where your mouth is. Well, I just put my dollar where my mouth is. All right, guys. Take care. I love you. Bye.